Eternal Health, episode number 30. You're listening to the Eternal Health Podcast, where we discuss God's great design for your life in body, mind, and spirit. Your host is Laura Rimmer, who's a nutritionist, author, speaker, and health coach. Looking for yoga tips or the latest protein shake recommendations? Sorry, you're in the wrong place. If you're ready for no-nonsense, multi-layered health expertise, drawing on evidence-based nutrition and biblical principles, welcome to Eternal Health. For show notes and to download your free 5-minute Optimum Health Scorecard, please visit laurarimmer.com. Enjoy the show. Hi there, it's Laura Rimmer. Welcome back to another episode of Eternal Health. I've got a really interesting episode for you today on wheatgrass juice. So I'm going to be talking all about what wheatgrass juice is, why it's an amazing supplement in terms of its nutrition benefits and where you can buy it and what it does. It's something I've been drinking for 16 years and there's a good reason why. So that's the topic of today's show, episode 30. So before we get into that, if you haven't listened to last week's episode, episode number 29, I interviewed world famous professor Tim Noakes on a low carb diet and ketogenic diet for great health, weight loss and disease prevention. It was a really interesting interview and Tim tells us exactly why he went from eating higher carbohydrate and lower fat and how he gave himself type 2 diabetes by eating that way even though he was running lots and doing lots and lots of exercise and how he managed to really hold his diabetes at bay to the point where he has no symptoms now by going to a low carb ketogenic diet so a really fascinating topic an important topic actually because he says that many many people are walking around as a kind of ticking time bomb of insulin resistance and it's only going to be a matter of time before they have type 2 diabetes full-blown if they don't already and going on to a ketogenic low-carb diet is the very best way to to prevent that and reverse that so yeah really um a really great interview go and listen to that And just to say also, I've got another great interview coming up with a friend of mine who is a world-class expert in productivity and time mastery. He works with high-level CEOs and business owners in showing them how to gain at least 10 hours back in their working week through upgrading their, their habits, their skills with time management all that kind of stuff and he is very expensive to hire so we're fortunate to have him on to speak about this stuff for absolutely free so do tune into that episode coming up in the next few weeks I've been pretty busy over the last week or so. I actually went away to a Christian conference up country, my husband and I, and some people from our church family. And it was so, so nice just to get away from normal everyday life and spend some time studying God's word, uh, hanging out with my Christian brothers and sisters. So yeah, it was really, really nice time in the country as well. Lots of fresh air, lots of sunshine. So I feel quite rejuvenated from, from that lovely week away. And also a couple of days ago, I held a joint event with Riverford Farm, which is our local organic farmers. And they now distribute organic produce, so fruit, vegetables, lovely high quality grass fed meat and dairy. I think pretty much all around the UK, but um, I've been buying their their boxes every week for years and years, over a decade, I think now. So it was really nice to hold an event with them. So that was the first one that I've done. And possibly I might be looking to collaborate with them again and do future events. So I will keep you updated if that's the case. And had really, really good feedback from that event as well. Um, Sold quite a few books and lots of people saying this was really fascinating stuff. I was talking about how to live healthily and eat nutritious foods in this unhealthy world we live in. So talking through some of the protocols and um, the framework in my book, The Alkaline Five Diet, and also how to include healthy fats and get rid of the unhealthy fats from our diet. So yeah, really, really enjoyed that event. So it's been a busy week for me. Okay, so let's get into our show today on wheatgrass juice. Now, as I say, I've been drinking wheatgrass juice for around 16 years and I absolutely 
swear by it. Why? Because wheatgrass juice is energizing, it's immune boosting, it's helped me have better skin, it's helped me recover from exercise, it keeps our antioxidants high, it gives you great youthful looking skin and many, many other benefits. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today, exactly what wheatgrass juice is, what are the benefits, why is it such a nutritious food that it's actually called a nature's wonder food, like a, a, a panacea of nature, which is a very um, it's a very strong thing to say, isn't it, about one single food or supplement, but that's what it's known as. So we're going to be looking at exactly why wheatgrass juice is such a, an amazing, amazing superfood. Now, first of all, what exactly is wheatgrass juice? Well, wheatgrass is derived from the, the grass of the common wheat plant. It's as simple as that. But because the wheat plant is harvested before it has chance to, to grow into a fully formed wheat plant and starts producing the grain, then it's still classed as a grass as opposed to a, yeah, a grain. And it's gluten free because it's green, it's leafy and green as opposed to brown with the glutinous grain. So it's an edible grass. However, the grass itself contains a lot of cellulose, which is indigestible. So what we can derive from the, the wheatgrass is the juice. And we can do that in a number of ways. We can either juice the, the fresh grass using a masticating juicer. So you can't just use a normal like centrifugal juicer, a cheap juicer. You need a special one, which is going to pulverize the grass and extract the juice. Or we can mill down the, the leaf of the plant into a fine green powder. And there's, yeah, there's a couple of different options there as well, which I'll get into. So in essence, we're looking to derive the nutrients and the juice from this young wheat plant. And this has been found to be beneficial in producing great health results for both humans and animals. So what does wheatgrass contain that makes it so nutritious? Well, firstly, it is a great source of vitamins and antioxidants. So it contains vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin C, E, contains B12, which is hard to get from any other plant source, really. It contains calcium, selenium, magnesium, iron, and as I mentioned, lots of antioxidants. It contains full spectrum amino acids, so the building blocks of protein. And on top of that, it also contains plant enzymes. And here's the key one, chlorophyll. Well, all of the others are, are fantastic as well, but the key to wheatgrass being so, so nutritious is the chlorophyll, which is highly alkalizing. So it's alkaline forming. So what does that mean? Well, the chlorophyll is the green substance which makes it so bright green. And the chlorophyll is the result of photosynthesis in the plant. So it's harnessing sunlight energy. Now, this is important because we as humans, we can't directly harness the, the sun's energy into, into our own bodies. We can have, we can use vitamin D for sure, but we are unable to kind of convert, if you like, all these different benefits from the sun and change it into, yeah, into vitamins and things. But plants can do that. So plants act as the middleman. So when we drink or have some leafy greens or some wheatgrass juice or a green smoothie, which is high in this chlorophyll pigment, we are in effect harnessing the energy from the sun. Chlorophyll, as I mentioned, is highly, highly alkalizing. As I've said in previous episodes, and if you're familiar with my book, The Alkaline 5 Diet, then it's a great idea to be eating foods which are highly alkaline forming predominantly leafy greens because this enables and promotes our body's um, blood homeostasis of 7.35 on the pH scale which is slightly alkaline. If we're constantly eating unhealthy foods our bodies will compromise that alkaline state of our blood and whilst the blood pH won't deviate, what happens is we start kind of compensating in other ways to put alkaline minerals into the blood to maintain that balance. So I'm not going to go into a whole lot on this topic. Do go back and listen to my previous episodes on the alkaline diet. And this explains in more detail. But just to say, wheatgrass juice is highly rich in chlorophyll, which is very alkalizing. And this is, yeah, wonderful for your body, wonderfully nutritious. 
So a serving of wheatgrass juice of just one ounce has vitamins and minerals equal to one pound of fresh vegetables and alternative medical practitioners have really been using wheatgrass juice for years and years and years treating almost every ailment that you can think of from constipation to easing pain from rheumatism and arthritis to diabetes to even cancer and a lady called Dr Anne Wigmore is actually quite well known quite famous at her Hippocrates Institute in California in the 1960s for treating terminally ill patients with things like cancer and heart disease with wheatgrass juice therapy and having great results as well as using um, using wheatgrass on her animals on her farm and it helped them to become very very strong and robust much more so than the animals that weren't given wheatgrass juice so in essence the chlorophyll that's in wheatgrass juice which is so rich is sunlight energy it's pure sunlight energy and green plants are the only living thing on earth that are capable of converting the sun's energy into food and of those green plants wheatgrass can be thought of as the king of those plants Now, as I mentioned earlier, wheatgrass contains a lot of cellulose, which is indigestible fiber. So it makes it tough for us to be able to get the nutrition directly from the the grass itself. So we can't eat the grass. It would be, yeah, it would be horrible to eat. And we'd have this mass of stringy cellulose just, yeah, unable to be digested. So we have to extract the juice somehow. Or we can dry the plant and then crush it into a fine powder and have it that way. So what's my recommendation for taking wheatgrass juice? Well, for a couple of years, I actually grew my own. So I had big trays and I'd get some wheat berries online, a big sack of them. And I'd line these trays and water them every day. And after about seven days, then I'd have fully formed wheatgrass grass (laughs) grass <laughs> um, at about oh I don't know about a foot long maybe just slightly under that 10 inches something like that and I would cut it and then I bought myself a masticating juicer which is quite expensive you're looking at about 400 pounds maybe 600 700 dollars something like that and then I would kind of laboriously juice a whole load of this grass and be left with one or two little shots of fresh wheatgrass juice now I've got to say that is by far the best way to drink it It tastes sweet. It's very, very potent. I remember the first time I had a fresh wheatgrass juice shot and it felt like it was alcoholic because it was so potent. You could just feel that nutrition getting into your body. And about 30 minutes later, I had so much energy, so much mental sharpness. It was quite amazing. So that, you know, there is a real benefit here to doing that. However, as I say, it's quite laborious. In the end, my big sack of wheat berries that I was keeping actually got infested by mice and uh, and that caused the whole problem <laughs> with having mice running around our house. So yeah, it, 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 like I say, it's laborious, time consuming um, and you don't yield a whole lot. It can often take, as I say, a whole tray to produce one or two shots of wheatgrass. So if you're not into doing all that rigmarole, which yeah, I would not expect you to do, then the next best option is wheatgrass juice powder. Now, just to be clear, there's two different types of wheatgrass powder that you can get. And don't be fooled because one of them is the better version. So you can get wheatgrass powder and wheatgrass juice powder and they're labeled differently like that typically wheatgrass powder is a lot cheaper so some people make the mistake of seeing two products you know maybe 200 grams of one 200 grams the other one being much more expensive and thinking I'll buy the cheaper one it all looks the same both from New Zealand both organic for example but one will be the powder so if it just says wheatgrass powder that means that the whole leaf is taken dried ground and then that's the powder so (laughs) what have we got in there we've got the juice but also all of the cellulose the indigestible fiber which in effect bulks that that product out now some people also will have a problem with this in terms of digestion family member of mine for example when they have this version of the wheatgrass powder it gives them terrible um yeah upset stomach So probably we want to be getting instead wheatgrass juice powder. And here's how this is different. 
the the wheatgrass plant is juiced first and then that liquid so the just the juice is then dried into a powder form do you see the difference so one is a lot lot more potent one has no um no cellulose in it so my advice would be go for wheatgrass juice powder over wheatgrass powder okay so it's false economy really to be buying the cheaper version because you've got about four times the volume which is bulked out with the cellulose and that's indigestible and can cause upset stomach so go with the more potent version which means you can use less of it it's much more easily absorbed by the body it's a real potent concoction of um, of all these nutrient rich enzymes and vitamins and minerals antioxidants all that kind of stuff amino acids without the indigestible fiber the other thing to bear in mind is I would always, always, always be buying organic wheatgrass juice powder because otherwise, if it's not organic, you don't know what they're spraying onto that. And think about how thin the wheatgrass leaf is. If anything is sprayed on it, you're not going to be able to wash it off. They're not going to be able to wash it off before processing it. So you're going to be having all those pesticides in a concentrated form. So always go with organic and my recommendation wheatgrass juice powder so yeah I, I hope you're seeing that not all wheatgrass is equal so be careful and be discerning when you're buying your product and to say finally on that issue I've noticed a lot of supermarkets now are jumping on the wheatgrass bandwagon and selling wheatgrass powder which is great it's really good but they're selling the whole leaf powder form and often it's non-organic. So much as it's, you know, we've got to applaud the supermarkets for, for selling this and in recognizing wheatgrass as a great food supplement, I would not be buying non-organic leaf form from the supermarkets. I'd be buying it online. And I'm going to let you know at the end my preferred recommendation. And if you want to go straight there now, you can go to laurarimmer.com forward slash best wheatgrass. That's laurarimmer.com forward slash best wheatgrass. This wheatgrass juice powder is the best form that I found and I've done quite a bit of research in this area. It's grown on ancient seabeds so it contains more trace minerals than most wheatgrasses. It, um, it's dried at a low temperature so nothing over 106 degrees Fahrenheit and yeah it's just a very potent very high quality source of wheatgrass powder at a reasonable price let's move on to some of the many benefits that wheatgrass has when we drink it now i mentioned that it contains around 70 percent chlorophyll chlorophyll has some major health benefits on our bodies because the interesting thing about chlorophyll is it's only one molecule different to our own blood's hemoglobin so because of that it is a wonderful blood cleanser and a blood builder so it's going to really oxygenate your cells it's going to build and cleanse your blood which your blood is your river of life and this is also super biblical it says this in the bible in the old testament it, when it talks about eating foods and things from animals it says do not drink the blood or do not eat the blood with the animal because the blood is the is the life force of the animal so yeah that means that we need to have our blood healthy in good condition if our blood is not healthy then we're going to be experiencing some serious health issues in our body. So what other benefits does wheatgrass have? Well, it also increases your red blood cell count. It can lower your blood pressure. It cleanses your organs and your gastrointestinal tract um, of any unwanted debris. It stimulates your body's metabolism and the enzyme systems by enriching your blood. So as you can see, a lot of these benefits are related to the fact that it has such a beneficial effect on our blood. It stimulates your thyroid gland and it can normalize your blood sugar. Now that's really important because wheatgrass has been used very successfully for people with diabetes and I know myself from working with people with diabetes that when they take wheatgrass juice it really helps just to balance out their blood sugar so this can reduce the effects potentially of insulin resistance now obviously you know you need to consult your doctor and don't start coming off any medications or anything but having wheatgrass juice is just such a great supplement if you're at the moment on medications and drugs and things it's really going to enable your body to combat any ill health and mitigate the 
often quite acidifying and toxic effects of medications. Wheatgrass can also be used to relieve many internal pains. It's a wonderful detoxifier, so it detoxifies your liver, detoxifies your kidneys, it produces great skin. So I know when I first started taking wheatgrass, one of the first things I noticed was that my skin got more supple, it became more smooth, more vibrant looking. It can reverse and prevent graying of hair, and I can certainly attest to that. I'm 38 years old at the moment, no gray hair, been drinking wheatgrass for years. Everyone I know at my age pretty much has got gray hair, I've got strong shiny hair so yeah it, it this stuff works it also helps to neutralize environmental pollutants so we live in a day and age where there's so much pollution in the air so many heavy metals in the air <laughs> how are they getting there you might ask um yeah in our soils then there's all these pollutants we have fluoride in our water we have chlorine in our water often yeah we we have cars <laughs> pumping out pollution so it's very important to be doing things to mitigate the effects of those pollutants on our body and drinking wheatgrass juice is a wonderful way to do that wheatgrass juice has been known to fight tumors and as well as neutralizing toxicity recent studies have shown that wheatgrass juice has a powerful ability to fight those tumors without the use of toxic drugs and furthermore it's been shown to be really effective for people undertaking chemotherapy for cancer it really helps them to recover much quicker by um, by taking wheatgrass on a regular basis it's been shown in some cases as well now there's been an interesting study done on colitis and wheatgrass juice therapy so i'll just outline the results of that study which are quite interesting so this was a study done in 2002 by ben air et al and it was called wheatgrass juice in the treatment of active distal ulcerative colitis a randomized double blind placebo controlled trial and this is detailed in the scandinavian journal of gastroenterology so here's the results 21 patients completed this study um, and they were given wheatgrass juice and full information was available on 19 of them so they had treatment with wheatgrass juice and this was associated with significant reductions in overall disease activity and in the severity of their um, rectal bleeding. No serious side effects at all were found from taking wheatgrass, which is obvious. It's a very natural food. And so here's the overall conclusion. Wheatgrass juice appeared a very effective and safe as a single or adjuvant treatment of active distal ulcerative colitis. So what else does wheatgrass juice do? Well, the list goes on. Um, when it's externally applied to our skin, it can really help eliminate any itching and allergies. And it's a really good um, thing to pull on topically on burns and wounds. It can really help heal those a lot quicker as well. It soothes sunburned skin. It acts as a disinfectant. It works as a sleep aid because it enhances the oxygen um, intake that you have it can sweeten your breath and firm up your gums so wheatgrass juice is amazing for um, dental health and preventing and fighting gum disease it can turn gray hair to its natural color so i mentioned that it can prevent gray hair but also there's been people um, there's one lady in particular a lady called mimi who's in her 70s who says that her hair went from gray back to its natural color from drinking wheatgrass juice and it increases energy levels when consumed daily. So the key really is to drink it consistently. Don't drink a whole load and then, you know, not have it again for months and then have another whole load. Little and often. So every day, just a teaspoon in a pint of water would be my recommendation. And yeah, you will feel your energy levels increase. It lessens the effect of radiation in your body, which is very important. Again, in this day and age, with all the Wi-Fi around, with yeah increasing amounts of radiation going through our air with 5g networks being uh, imminent as i record this that's going to severely increase the radiation levels in our world um, in our environment so wheatgrass juice can help mitigate the effects of that 
And along with that, it can help restore fertility. So people who are experiencing fertility problems, it can really help with that as well. And overall promotes youth, uh, youthfulness. So it's used by a lot of people as a kind of beauty treatment, an internal beauty treatment to make you look and feel younger and more vibrant and beautified, I guess. So in conclusion, we really just can't sum up all the benefits of wheatgrass in our lives. It really deserves that title of nature's wonder food, nature's panacea. It has countless other positive results that we wouldn't even begin begin to think of because of all the trace minerals, the enzymes, the richness of the uh, uh, of that superfood. It's a matter of self-discipline and consistency in taking it. As I mentioned, that is the key here with with drinking wheatgrass juice. And that will in turn help take care of your health over the long term. Now, if you want to read more on this, I will leave some links in the show notes. I've got an article on my website called The Benefits of Wheatgrass. So I'll leave a link to that. And a book I would recommend is called Wheatgrass, Nature's Finest Medicine by Steve Merowitz. And you can buy that on Amazon. Again, I'll leave a link in the show notes. So where can you buy wheatgrass? Well, my recommendation would be if you go to laurarimmer.com forward slash best wheatgrass if you're in the US. This is my affiliate link to the best wheatgrass juice that I can find. And I've tried a lot and looked at lots of different sources over the years. That's my recommendation. So laurarimmer.com forward slash best wheatgrass. My second best recommendation would be laurarimmer.com forward slash green juice. And you can get a 15% off if you use the coupon Laura W15. So L-A-U-R-A W15 at laurarimmer.com forward slash green juice and you can get 15% off if you're in the UK then if you go to laurarimmer.com forward slash wheatgrass UK as I mentioned they're all my affiliate links so I hope you don't mind if you take advantage of you know my expertise on this and doing all the legwork of finding a really good quality good sourced product at a reasonable price then I will get a very small commission from that so um yeah that's about it for today on that topic my recommendation would be if you're going to take any one supplement it would be wheatgrass juice it's the one thing I say as I say I've been drinking consistently for 16 years my husband takes it every day as well he's a super fast runner so um yeah it can really help with sports performance as well forgot to mention that because it's so oxygenating to your body and blood Now, to end, just to say, if you've been listening to my podcast, if you've listened to today's episode and you're thinking, do you know what? It's just such a minefield out here when it comes to health and getting things right, getting things wrong. And that's one of the main things I hear from people. I just don't know what to do for the best. I think I'm doing well in certain areas, but I'm just not completely sure. And there's so much contradicting information out there. Then, yeah, I hear you. That's absolutely the case. And I would say that, it's worthwhile considering investing in a health coach to help you get this stuff right. Now, I'm a health coach, so you know, you don't have to choose me, you could choose someone else, but I've been doing this for 10 years. I've got um, a background in both standard medicine, I was a medical research manager for a few years, but also, more importantly, natural health. And I've got a lot of experience in that area and have had really good results with my clients who've reversed diabetes, lost 50 pounds, reversed colitis um, and various other things, psoriasis. So, yeah, I'm if you feel that you would like to potentially explore having some coaching, that would be a smart thing to do and you're welcome to book a free call with you I have some availability in my calendar it does get booked up fairly quickly but um, if you want to book a call with me you can check to see if if I'm available at all um, at the time that you're listening to this and you can do that by going to laurarimmer.com forward slash call that's laurarimmer.com forward slash call again I'll leave a link in the show notes and yeah feel free to book a call with me and we can go through we will get on the phone for about 40 minutes no obligation whatsoever we will talk through your particular health issues or your particular health goals and desires and we will come up with a plan together so at the end of that call you'll be very very clear 
on exactly where you want to be going with your health, with your energy levels, with your weight and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of people say this is a super valuable 40 minutes that helps them get real clarity, real um yeah an insight into their health and if I think it's a good fit if you think it's a good fit I may invite you to become a coaching client but um possibly not if it's not a good fit then I won't so no obligation feel free to book a call with me laurarimmer.com forward slash call okay so I'm going to finish today's episode with some bible quotes so firstly Genesis the very first book of the bible Genesis 1 29 to 31 says And God said, behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is on the face of all the earth and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the heavens, to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life. I have given every green plant for food and it was so and God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning the sixth day. And then let's go to the very end of the Bible. So Revelation 22 verses 1 to 2. Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. Also on either side of the river, the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. The leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And finally, Isaiah 40 says, the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God stands forever. So as great as wheatgrass is and as wonderfully beneficial to our health and has anti-aging properties and energizing properties, it's important to remember that ultimately (laughs) we're all going to wither and fade. But the word of God, so the Bible and Jesus stays forever so the best thing we can be doing for our health overall is looking to jesus as our savior and then we will inherit eternal life thanks so much for listening today i'll speak to you again on the next episode of eternal health bye for now thanks for listening to the eternal health podcast go to laurarimmer.com to download your free optimum health scorecard and find out your current health score plus tips, coaching, and training on how to get slim, healed, and energized. Remember to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, and we'll catch you next time on Eternal Health.